This is going to go through wiring up a shield master to a remote. We have a master, remote cover, and remote back box, everything right out of the packaging. First we're going to open the cover. Two screws on the master and open this guy up. So you can see on the inside of the master we've got the main terminal strip, we've got our in, uh, output relay and our main PC board. On this terminal strip right here we have our power input from the power supply and our output to the field devices, 24 volts and data, out to all the remotes. We're going to take a 24 volt from our power supply and connect it to the power input terminals. Okay, next thing we're going to wire this to the back box. So the back box has the same terminals, data B, A, 24 volt negative, 24 volt positive, uh, same colors and same order. I've got a piece of 18 gauge solid FPLP wire, which we're going to use to wire this up. As you see, I've already got the wire uh, already bent as I've done this a couple times. So we're just going to attach this to the terminal strip. I'm going to use red to red, black to black, blue to blue, and in this case I'm going to use brown to green. I'm going to do the same thing on both. So we're just going to loosen all the screws here and attach the wires. Alright, there's that. On the remote, um, we're going to take out the knockout. I already took out the knockout here. He should come right out. Tough stuff. Obviously, you're going to use your conduit that you electrician or you've already installed. But for our bench purposes, this will be okay. So I'm going to do the same order. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go red, black, blue, brown. And this terminal strip is rated for up to 12 to 22 gauge wire. I'll just tighten these guys in. Okay. So I've got my wire, master, back box. Now for the cover assembly. So the cover assembly comes with this cable harness. Uh, first we're going to install it on the PEM studs. So first we're going to hook it onto the bottom stud. We'll add the pan head 632 T15 screw to that. And then we're going to hook it onto the top. Add that screw which I'm doing completely blind here. There we go. And the supplied bit. Obviously you'll use your driver for that. We'll tighten both of those up. Alright, covers installed. Now this terminal strip in back is polarized, so we're simply going to plug that cable into there and we're all set. The remote has the dip switches on here for addressing. Default address is three. And this goes in order 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 addresses and it's additive. So 1 plus 2 is address 3. On the device itself, on the dip switch it actually reads 8765. But it's left to right 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 
So I'm going to leave that at default. And then I'm going to label the device. So the front has this area for a label. And that goes right here. If you need the label template, that's available at 1SAE.com under the lifeguard. And you can download that label template and cut them out. So now we should have a label, everything ready to go. And then I'm going to use the flat head T15 screws to finally secure the rest of the cover on the side. And we're going to use the same bit and connect that. So now our cover should be fully secured. So now we can go ahead and turn on the power. All right. Got a green light here. Got my screen. We're going to get some noise out of this. Looks like our system's up and running. Uh, right out of the box, the system works. So if I hit this button, we're going to get some noise. I'm going to cover the speaker so we don't get a lot of feedback. I get that. I can hit the events button and we can listen to that, test one, or talk to it. Obviously we're right here so we're going to get a little feedback and end. And there is uh, emergency sequence, right? So now on the screen, one other thing is it leaves a breadcrumb of devices that have called in. So if there's an emergency, another emergency responder will know to go to this and they know that, oh, it's device three or device 10 or whichever devices to come in. To reset this, we're gonna go to the menu. This password is one, two, three, four, six. Okay. We're gonna hit clear all and home. And that clears the device status. So you're ready to go. If you've got another few remotes, you can wire them up right there in the bench and make sure everything's good to go.